It's some ghosts in this house. 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 Just kidding. Anyways, hello everyone and welcome back to another every freaking Wednesday. Yay, yay. Another spooky season Nellyville. So like, let's just get right into it. <laughs> Anyways, if this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell, bitch. So you never miss another spooky video or another just like regular video. And if this is your first time here, go back and binge watch. Or maybe you're here because you already binge watched. And in that case, thanks for watching, Sally. Thanks for watching. So anyway, so what are we doing today? Okay, so you already read the title. Like I said, read the title before you click. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to click on it, you don't want to watch. You know shit? Now I'm just playing. Halloween is, is quickly approaching us. But uh, Miss Corona Lee the virus, Corona Lee the Shay, Michelle, Leona Yvette, Shonda, Stephanie, Woo the Woo Woo, the virus, Jackson, Harney, she won't leave us alone. So what does that mean? Plans have to change. Okay, so I just wanted to address something really quick, okay? So I know normally, typically Halloween, there's a lot of different events that we normally partake in, and there's a lot of trick or treat. Well, <laughs> none of my business. Do what you want with your kids. Do what you want. But I just want to go on record saying, don't take your kids, don't, don't take your kids trick or treating. Don't do it. If you love your children, don't take them trick or treating, okay? And, and look, like I said, do what you want. All I'm just saying is if you take your kids trick or treating, I'm gonna call you a bad mother. I just say, I'm gonna call you that father. I'm gonna talk about you, I'm gonna judge you, okay? And you know, and if, like I said, do what you want, it's your prerogative, right? But no, seriously, on a serious note, guys. You, we have to make the best of our situation, but you know, it's not a normal situation. So you have to adjust and you know, look, this is easy for me to say coming from someone who trick or treated till they were 18. You know, here I am pushing 47 and it's like, of course you know you're not worried about trick or treating, but what about the cats? What about the cats? You know, I would hate for little Sally to, you know, to get sick or croak over because, you know, you wanted to get her a piece of candy. I, I look, not to be morbid, but let's keep it a hundred. That's what we do around here. My good Judy's, we know. If you're a new Judy, you know, you gotta get on board. We keep it a hundred around here, Sally. We keep it a hundred. You do the best that you can, but it's just, for me, it's too risky to take the little ones trick or treating because even if you do something where like maybe your neighborhood has decided, well, we're gonna leave candy outside the door and everybody just take one, it's still risky because you gotta think about the person who touched the candy to put it in the bowl. And then you gotta think about the kids who came before you. Or maybe you're a carrier and you don't know and now you done left little pieces of, of Corona, Corona virus on the candy. You know, and it's just not worth the risk for obvious reasons. But we still want to partake in some Halloween festivities, especially for those little ones. We still want them to dress up. So what is this video about? I'm going to give you a quick few suggestions to get the ball rolling. So, you know, because you know what I hate? I hate a person to tell me not to do something, who like to point out a problem, but then they, they ain't got no solution. So it's like, why are you pointing out the problem? You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I've been watching a lot of crazy um, don't be that person who points out a, a, a problem and then not have a solution. So I pointed out the problem. We're not taking our kids trick or treating. So what do we do? We still want to celebrate. So what do we what do we do? So here's some quick suggestions. Take them if you want to modify them to fit your lifestyle. And they're just very quick. Let's we'll just fire off. I don't want to hold you long. <laughs> you know, we got things to do. People to sit, right? Okay. So the first thing, pretty obvious. Let's have a movie game night. But with costumes, let the kids pick out their costumes, make the costumes, make it a thing. Have your own family costume contest. And this doesn't have to be just like a household family. You can invite maybe a, a, just a small piece of extended family. Do something in maybe someone's backyard, maybe, and, and, or, you know, I don't know how you live. You know what I'm saying? Adjust according to you, but you could do like a family movie game night. Everyone dress up, wears costumes. Um, maybe, you, you know, maybe you could buy some like little candy and, and you know, pretend you're trading your house, okay? So that's one option. You, you know, let's not make it difficult. You know what a movie game night is, right? Okay, so that's option number one. Option number two kind of goes with the movie 
game night, family trick or treating, okay? Maybe set up stations in the driveway, set up stations in the backyard. Maybe if you don't wanna just hand out candy, cause you know, it's gonna be small, so it'll be a really quick trick or treating. Maybe you can set up like little game stations for the kids. So the treat, instead of candy, which it really isn't that healthy, it, the treat could be maybe you could have a face painting station. You could have like, a, you know, what, a, what what's that? Cornhole toss. And you do like tiny little games with the kids. Just a small family, a small family friend gathering or people that you, you've been in contact with since Corona Lachet, right? Um, don't make it a thing, don't make it a thing. And you can combine those things, you could do you could combine number one and number two. So you could do the movie game night, okay? So you could do like a movie board game thing, keep it simple. Or you could do, start with the movie and then take it outside and do the family trick or treating, okay? So, and, and do whatever treat you want. Hope you can keep up. Let's move on to number three. Um, uh, number three, we could do, uh, just let your kids participate in school events. I know a lot of schools are virtual. Um, I don't really know too much about what's going on in the elementary school, middle school, high school sector. Um, but I imagine that they have um, planned accordingly considering it's just not normal times. Okay, Pandemica is still among us. And uh, so if they're having anything, even if it's just a virtual Zoom call, let your kids participate. I know a lot of times parents opt out of these things because we're tired and we have busy schedules. We have other kids. You know, it's hard to always be involved in these events. But if that's your only option this year, for sure, let your kids be involved in whatever way, what, however that means. You know, maybe they have something on site for the kids. You know, make sure you sign up. And I don't know what that means. So anybody in the comment section down below who maybe can maybe get some, I'm sure we got some mothers. Some of my Judy's are mothers. Leave it in. You got some little ones, okay? I know y'all do. Yeah. You know what I'm sharing? So yeah. Help us out, okay? Share your suggestions. Okay, so that was number three. Number four, when we're almost done. Number four, do two Halloweens next year. If it just kind of comes down to maybe you're just not that creative, maybe, you know. Schedule wise, all you had carved out was enough time to just do the traditional trick or treating. Do two Halloweens next year or really go all out, you know, double the fun for, for next year. You know, God willing, Corona Lachey, Mary Ann, Josephine, Jackson, Miller, you know, hopefully she'll be gone by then. Just double the fun. Most kids are very understanding and maybe a little heartbreaking, but I promise you, little Timmy. Here, bring bring your kids. Pause. Pause the video. Go get your kids. Go get your kids. Bring them in. Bring them in. This family friendly. It's family friendly. Just bring them. Okay, they're here. Okay, so let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, so mom, I got this. Okay, so hold on. Hi. Hi, little ones. Hi. Okay, so hi. I'm Chanel. Nice to see you. Okay, so look. There's, there's... The world is a little different right now, okay? Nothing to be scared of, okay? Mommy, daddy, they gotta take care of, right? Um, grandparents, whoever watches you, okay? Um, Halloween's just not gonna be the same this year, okay? It's just not gonna be the same, and that's okay. That's okay, you're still gonna have a lot of fun. You got a lot of life to live, okay? So just don't, don't give mom and dad a hard time, okay? Okay, it's gonna be great, okay? I'm giving, I'm giving your parents some suggestions, okay? So that's all I wanted to say. Okay, all right, great. Go go play. Go do some ABC now school. Go work on your math, okay? All right, thanks. Great. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Anyways, okay, so back to the adults. Okay, so Judy's. So we got our four options laid out, okay? Number five, and this is the final one. Find some local outdoor events, okay? So I put emphasis on outdoor. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Decline. I, I put emphasis on outdoor events because I feel like that's a, a safer, healthier option. If you find local events that, that are in, in a building, I would just say be very careful. Do your research and see what the capacity is. Is it actually enough room to be able to social distance and, and, and enjoy whatever program you're attending safely? Outdoor uh, events, you'll have a little more room to, to move around. You don't have to be so close in and then you got some fresh air. And plus Halloween's about being outdoors. To, to me, to me, the outdoor events are really what just, yeah. 
you know uh, and there's always lots of Halloween outdoor events going on normally and I'm sure a lot of them have been canceled or altered but I'm sure you can find something that you know be it a local farmers market some farmers markets have like cornfields and things that you can walk through those things may still be open maybe try your local boardwalks or waterfronts I know some places where it's a little cooler maybe waterfront might not be like ideal unless you're used to bundling up I don't know I'm, I'm here in Texas I'm here in Texas it's a little warm still warm down here and down here in Texas I'm okay I got look y'all gonna come for my neck in the comments I'm not making fun I'm country, I have a twang. Do you hear the way I talk? I sound just like Miley Cyrus, okay? I'm a hillbilly from sticks, okay? So don't judge me. I can talk like this, won't too, cause I'm from Kentucky, okay? All right, all right so anyway. <laughs> No, so find your local outdoor events. You might luck up on something. Most of these things are probably free or really cheap. Maybe your neighborhood could come together and throw something together really quick, like a nice quick bonfire. And you know, above all else, just be safe and wear your mask. That's whatever you do, right? Right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for our little spooky season, Nellieville time. Um, I hope you got some ideas. If you can think of anything else that you can suggest to the Judy family, the Judy Nellieville family, please leave it down in the comment section down below. Come find me on all my other social media. Let's continue the conversation. And um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up because I know you loved it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Woo! Bye! Woo Talking lights, camera, action. Yeah, we're saying, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson.